What's up, nerds? Welcome to Cool Nerd Show. As always, I am Steve Trezza, and I'm going to take a look at the Supergirl Season 2 premiere. So last season, Supergirl left off on the cliffhanger with the What's in the Pod. Last season was pretty good. It was off to a little bit of a shaky start, but it definitely picked up in the end, and we had a lot of upside, and it shows a lot of potential. So we're going to see if Season 2 will put that potential into motion, and uh, it definitely got off to a good start with the first episode of the season. So at the very beginning of the episode, we actually see Clark Kent and we see Superman. So at the very beginning of the episode, we see Clark Kent and then we see Superman team up with Supergirl, which is always good to see on camera. Um, I thought that Superman looked good. I thought that Tyler Hoechlin did a pretty good job as Superman and as Clark Kent as well. Um, he really captured the essence of the character. The suit looked good. They didn't have the red underwear, which sometimes can, can get a little uh, goofy looking there. But overall, I was happy with this version of Superman. Now, I know it's just the premiere, but the effects did look good. I'm sure we'll get a couple episodes where the effects won't look as good, but um, the, they were definitely just almost perfect in this episode. The laser eyes looked good. The uh, buildings falling down, things exploding, everything looked pretty on par for this episode. It's also worth noting that I like the logo a lot better. Last season, we kind of had this really 80s looking uh, S symbol. And uh, this season, they kind of fixed that, and it looks just a lot more sharper. Um, it's something real subtle, but I just think it looks a lot cooler than it did last season. Now, this episode was definitely a DC fanboy's dream. Aside from Superman being in the episode, we had a lot of mention of Lex Luthor. He does exist in the universe, which is awesome, and we know that he is in jail. Now, I don't know if we'll actually see him anytime soon, but um, it's definitely good to know that he actually exists in there, and there is the potential for him to be shown in the episode. Um, I did like that there was some beef. With Martian Manhunter and Superman, I'm sure they will bury the hatchet eventually, and we will get that team up of Martian Manhunter, Superman, and Supergirl in one episode in the future. We had a lot of other mentions in the episode. Uh, I think the I think the show works a lot better being on CW rather than it does on CBS. We had a Gotham line where uh, Superman saved some of the pedestrians in National City, and one of the pedestrians said, "We're moving back to Gotham," which was, of course, a nod to. Batman in the Batman universe, which, you know, I don't think we'll ever really see Batman on the CW, but it's, it's a cool little nod there. Now, the villain in the episode was John Corbin, and if you're a comic book reader, then you know that John Corbin becomes Metallo, and that is exactly what happens in the end of the episode, um, where he gets shot by Lena Luthor, and then we see him, and he's in Cadmus, and he's getting the kryptonite core placed inside of him. So if you're unfamiliar with Metallo, he is a cyborg villain of Superman's and he has as I just said a kryptonite core which means he is one of Superman's most worthy adversaries and we definitely see that being put inside of him at the end of the episode. It'll be interesting to see how they team up. Maybe they will actually have to use Martian Manhunter to defeat Metal on the next episode or the next coming episodes because he won't be able to be defeated by Superman or Supergirl because they're both Kryptonian and weakened to is core. So overall, I thought the episode was really good. We did also see that Kara becomes a reporter now, and she also friend zones Jimmy Olsen, which I kind of like. I think sometimes the relationship within the series can kind of uh, bring the series down, as definitely as it did in the Arrow series when Felicity and Ollie finally got together. There was a lot of stupid bullshit drama that went on between them that the writers kind of just made things up just to kind of have a dramatic storyline that didn't really fit. And I would hate to see uh, Supergirl fall down that line as well. So I think that they work very well being, fr being friends rather than being the actual relationship. Um, overall, I think the episode was great. I actually thought it was better than the Flash and the Arrow premiere. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to Supergirl season two and to where it goes, especially with the team up episodes with the other shows and with Superman and with mon -El, who was the man in the pod. Um, so definitely going to look at that next week. And, and I'm going to try and do these reviews every week. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get them done every week, but I'm definitely going to try. Please let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. And if you have any other suggestions or content for the show, please let us know. And we will definitely shout you out if we choose your segment. So um, please like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you guys over on our other segments.